Hello and welcome to this pit stop for Magic Maze, designed by Casper Lapp, published by Pegasus Spieler and Sit Down Games. Magic Maze is a game for one to eight players, taking around 15 minutes. In Magic Maze, all the players are cooperatively going to be controlling four different adventurers and moving them through a maze. Now each player can move any of the adventurers, but they can only move them in the direction of the action tile in front of them. They can also take these additional symbol actions if they have that particular tile. What the players are attempting to do are to start on one of these tiles, move the adventurers around, including up the escalators if you control the escalators, and get them to these search points. Then going to expand the maze. And what you're attempting to do is find the room with each of these adventurers items in, move the adventurers to those items, and then get them all out of the exit. Now in the initial game, you can do this talking to each other, discussing your plan, and working out how everything is going to go. So the yellow pawn, you're going to have to get it onto the yellow item, and so on with all of the different colors. Once simultaneously, all of the adventurers are on the color room that matches their item, you're then going to have to look for the exit. And they're all going to have to get back and out the door of the exit, which sounds easy enough. This is all going to be done, however, against the clock. And when that timer runs out, you've lost the game. You have got the opportunity to operate more time slots by moving a pawn onto one of these spaces, saying you're activating it and then covering it up. So they're a limited resource. You've also got the ability to move pawns between portals of their own color. The yellow can hop from here to here, for example, but only the player who's control of that. And in terms of searching, expanding and using the tiles, only the player with the search action can do that. Now that's the base game. Once you got used to doing that, you move on and play the same game again, but you cannot talk to each other as you play. You then move on, and rather than all of the adventurers going out the same exit, they each now have a different exit of their own color to escape via, which again is gonna up the difficulty one more notch. Once you get used to that, then this symbol on here means that every time you activate one of these time spaces, players are gonna to have to swap their action tiles, meaning they are now moving in a different direction for each of these pawns. As we move on, there are other tiles which can come into the play. In this case, there are special walls which only the dwarf, the orange adventurer, can move through. However, every time you search using the elf, who's the green adventurer, you can be able to talk to each other as if you had just turned over the time token, which is the only time after that base game you can talk and discuss your plans. Once you master that particular tactic, you add another tile to the stack, making it more difficult. But in this case, the mage can stand on a crystal ball and they'll get to do two free searches for you, just taking tiles off the top of the stack. If that feels like it might be too easy, you can then introduce security cameras into the game. And if ever two security cameras are in play at once and they haven't been smashed by the barbarian, which is his particular power, then you cannot use any of the time spaces. And once you get used to dealing with those two security cameras, well, don't worry. There are more that you can put into play should you need to, and they're gonna cause you more problems. Once you've mastered all of those rules in this big stack and you can do it within the time limit, there are then scenarios within the rule book which will set you different challenges over a course of 21 different scenarios to see if you can fully master Magic Maze. This has been a pit stop. For more videos like this, please find the Game Pit channel on YouTube. For more in-depth coverage of gaming, please find the Game Pit podcast.